she was a senior, but I was expecting to have you know, at least two more years with her, and I wanted to improve her quality of life, because it was changing, um, it was in her mouth, and it was really changing the anatomy of her teeth, and I was like, well, that can be comfortable. Anyway, she ended up getting a, a non-curative cancer. Uh, I could have gone and spent a lot more money to give her a few more lives, um, but she would have to recover from surgery, and then there's no guarantee she survives surgery. So I chose to um, do some supplements, yeah. and um, she passed away. So the, the thing, though, is that okay? So I spent a lot of money, and maybe insurance would have been good. But I did the math, and had I been investing in, I guess it kind of depends what y'all think. But what I was looking at picking, it was going to end up saving me the same amount of money I had to spend. So, to me, if I just set that money aside, um, it's gonna come out to be about the same. I'm sure that I'm gonna jinx myself somehow, and I'll be like, oh no, insurance would have been better, blah, blah, blah. Um, a friend of mine talked about it too, so she has several pets, and she told me what she ended up spending on them, and she would have spent more in savings, and all those procedures they had done, I think, usually it was for, I don't know, uh, I don't remember, but it was a curative, okay, it was more diagnostics, and no amount of insurance was going to save the pet's life, so it wasn't really worth it. Um, I also like knowing that that money is set aside and it's completely mine to access. I don't have to specifically go through um, a pet emergency, so to speak, or worry about if they're going to approve uh, my claim. Yeah. 
Säum.